feel like an idiot. I knew this was a waste of time. I barely recognized anybody here. What was I thinking? That I'd immediately reconnect with everybody and make a load of friends? <sighs> well, I guess one part of me must have thought that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come. I should have done like you said and sacked it off, but I don't know. I wanted to try. Push myself a little bit. Yeah, but... Uh, hold on, mate. I gotta go. I uh, think someone wants to talk. Yeah, see ya. Uh, yeah, hi. Sorry. Um, can I help? Uh, no, I'm not a member of staff. I mean, do you want anything from me? Oh, okay. Um, well, it's just that you were giving me a bit of a look, is all. M what was... what was that about? Oh, right, I see. Yeah, I am here for the reunion. I'm not a gatecrasher, I swear. Although, that's just the sort of thing a gatecrasher would say. So, I guess you'll just have to trust me. Uh, my name's Phasmid. I know, my parents were weird. Please don't say anything. Your eyebrows have already said enough. I should be on the list for entry, though. Yeah, that's the one. Weird last name, too, I know. I didn't even know acronyms were legal to use as last names. My friends will call me Faz, by the way. What's left of them, anyway. Uh, no, I don't mean my friends are in pieces. I just mean there aren't many of them. Friends, not pieces of friends. Fuck, see, this is why I'm just sitting at the bar alone. Oh, <laughs> one of the reasons, anyway. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I came because I thought I could reinvent myself a little bit. You know, stop being weird and awkward oversharing at every opportunity. But here I am doing that right now. Hmm. Wishful thinking, right? But anyway, at least I'm here, I guess. It was a 50-50 shot of me showing up at all. Probably even less likely than that now I think about it. <sighs> it was... It was nice of you to come up and engage a bit, though. <laughs> Thank you. Why'd you do that? Oh, you organized this whole thing? That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Yeah, like, there are a lot of people here. I was really surprised at how many people showed up. That's gotta be unusual, I hear these reunion things are often a bit of a flop, no? Yeah, like, people who reply to the invite, say they're gonna go, and then just not show up. So many Facebook events go that way. I mean, I've done that plenty of times myself. Yeah, I'm kind of a flake. So, respect for actually making this one successful. I could never. So, um, I'm sorry, I have a terrible memory. A lot of things from school are a blur to me. Did we know each other well? Clearly we didn't stay in touch, but that's not saying much. I didn't really stay in touch with anybody, now that I think about it. Oh, um, sorry, I'm trying to remember. Right, right, yeah, okay, I think I got it. We shared a biology class at least, right? Was it you who exploded that pig's heart? No, okay, well, someone definitely did. Maybe you weren't in that day, but I'm sure we shared biology. It's kind of coming back to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think I recognize you properly now. I still don't remember how well we knew each other, but your face is coming back to me at least. What are you... Um what are you doing these days, anyway? Oh yeah? Nice. That's good, and... I mean, it was cool of you to organize this little reunion. That must have been quite a distraction. 
oh, uh, I'm just working, you know, temping. Oh, yeah, it's really exciting, let me tell you, thrilling. Yesterday, I had to type up all these financial records that had been written by hand about 30 years ago. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. <laughs> Best part was when I had to digitize this expense request that a guy called John had filled for a ham and cheese sandwich at St Pancras International in 1995. Absolutely thrilling stuff. Oh yeah. I haven't been able to stop thinking about John and his sandwich ever since. Like, did he enjoy it? Did he have it warm, like a toasty, or was it cold? The receipt didn't make this clear. What if he dropped it on the station floor by accident before he got to finish it? Mysteries we will never know the answer to. <laughs> this is all a joke, by the way. There was no John, nor a ham and cheese sandwich. I'm sorry for lying to you about something so important. <laughs> oh no. The work I was doing was even more boring than that, trust me. I wish there had been a John and a sandwich. That would have been the most exciting thing to happen in a week. Oh, I do a bit of photography outside of work. Wildlife, birds, stuff like that. Sometimes I mix it up and find some skaters to take photos of or something. A bit more of a challenging subject. Hmm. I feel like I'm not really cool enough to get away with calling myself a skate photographer, but it's a fun hobby. Oh, uh, uh, you want to see my photos? It's the first time anybody's asked for a long time. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have any way to show you right now. I don't have them on my phone or anything. I'm, I'm not a professional like that. Maybe another time? If we see each other again for some reason? I don't know why we would, but, you know, maybe. Yeah. Oh, damn, now that is a good question. Why aren't I talking to other people? <sighs> you know, I'd love not to be sitting here alone, being grumpy and standoffish. I genuinely would. It's just what comes naturally to me, though. I can't help it. Yeah, like, some folk, if they're in a room full of people, their natural instinct would be to gravitate towards the middle of the crowd, right? Get involved, get to know everybody, strike up conversation. But, uh, well, I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> when I see a crowded room, I'll work my way around the edge and find somewhere quiet to exist without being bothered. And I don't know why I do it. Especially when it's at an event like this. I mean, the whole reason people attend these kinds of things, these reunions and stuff, is to... I mean, well, it's in the name, isn't it? Reunite with people. Actually talk to them. Reforge lost connections. All that. I mean, that's why you're here, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know why I can't do it too. I was kind of hyping myself up before I came in, right? I was sitting in my car saying to myself, Faz, you're going to go in there and you're going to walk up to a stranger or someone you vaguely recognize and strike up conversation and you're going to make a friend or not because maybe you just don't connect and that's fine. You're not going to connect with everybody. If you don't, you'll try again. You'll talk to someone else. Circulate the room a bit. Find your people. <laughs> and <laughs> I really thought I was going to do it, you know. I actually thought that's what would happen. But nah. Nope. As soon as I walked through that door, all that positivity and motivation evaporated like that. My eyes found the most isolated stool at the bar. I beelined towards it and, well, here we are. Fuck. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean for this to turn into a monologue. <laughs> yeah, Are you sure it didn't bother you? It's hardly the sort of uh, positive interaction that I think people come to these things for. <laughs> sure. 
Somehow I don't believe that you secretly feel this way too. Doesn't make any sense. If you did, why would you have organised this whole thing? Oh, okay. I get it, I think. Some kind of self-imposed exposure therapy? You know, that's kind of smart. I'm not sure I could do it myself, though. Is it working? Do you feel more social and with it? Hmm. Okay. Maybe there's something to this. I don't know why I wouldn't just push myself a little more instead of giving in to the comfortable thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should try and come out of my shell a little more. Hey, can I tell you something? Hmm. So, I... I recognised you right away. <laughs> I remembered you immediately. Recalled your name. I was pretending that I didn't, because... I don't know, it seemed weird to remember so clearly someone you knew, like, over a decade ago. I'm not sure why. Why was I embarrassed? I don't know. Stupid thing to be embarrassed about. No, I'm not joking. It would have been a great opportunity to finally come out of my shell. Be like, oh, hey, it's you. Yeah, do you remember me? And all that. Like everyone else here is doing. But instead I had to be a dick about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You know, I think... I think part of it might have been because I had a huge, massive crush on you at school. Like, enormous crush. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, if we ever ended up sitting at the same table at lunch, or were made to work together on a project or something, whew, I'd be... I'd be thinking about it for the rest of the day. Or the rest of the week. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, no. I'm sure it was just a silly little childhood thing. It's embarrassing to admit silly stuff you did in your childhood, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was silly, right? Childhood crushes. They don't... I don't... I don't think they mean anything. <laughs> you, um... You have any? Crushes, I mean. At back in school. Not now. <laughs> oh, ha. Huh. Yeah, very funny. But actually, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, me? Seriously? But I, I was like... I was the weird one. <laughs> Why would you... <sighs> you know... I do remember you talking to me back then, and maybe thinking, okay, weird, not many people do that, but nice still. It was so nice to talk to you. And uh, you know what I said earlier, like seconds ago, about childhood crushes being silly and not meaning anything? Yeah, that was silly and didn't mean anything. I think I might still have a little bit of that crush hanging around. Um, can I buy you a drink? <laughs>